Rebliati's ordeal is, of course, the talk of his hometown, Whistler, British Columbia. Rebliati is a hero in this ski and snowboarding mecca. Oh, I tell you what, it'll stand behind him right away. He won, mate. It's irrelevant, you know, whether he gets the medal or they take it off him. He won. He still won it. And if, he, if it gets taken away, he still won it in our eyes. Friends in Whistler also say even if Rebliati loses his gold medal, he will be welcomed back next Tuesday as a hero. Ross Rebliati's snowboarding friends in Whistler, B.C. are standing behind him tonight in his time of crisis. Support also came today from Canadians everywhere, including premiers and members of parliament. But, and I, clearly he won the race. Clearly he's a decent Canadian and British Columbian. I'm very proud uh, that he's from British Columbia. I think we all are, and I still am, uh, regardless of the outcome of this uh, investigation. It's such a small amount, a, a nanogram, what is that? I never heard it in school before. And as I said, it's probably a flake on this mountain. Now tonight's support for Reb Liatti is coming from all corners of the country. We begin in Whistler, where no matter what happens to his medal, the community still plans to celebrate when he returns from Japan. So whether, whether he gets the gold or not, I mean, us, us guys up here in Whistler are going to make him a gold medal. We're going to have the party. We're going to have the fireworks. Because to us, he's just, he's still the man. He won the Olympics. And the mayor of Whistler agrees. Well, I think the community is, uh, is really proud. I think they want to send a message. He performed exceptionally well under, uh, in, a, in a very difficult and uh, athletic competition. And, 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 and we just think it's fabulous. So we want to let him know that uh, we're proud. He's still a local hero. Let's give it up for Ross. He did a good job, and I'm so proud of him. And go Canada. Wicked. The man's a champion. We all love him. He's a good man. I'd hate to see him lose the medal because of these questions. No, we're supporting him 100%. Whistler is very proud. <laughs> As you can see, he is the talk of the town. He's Whistler's golden boy. Everybody here is proud. Kokanee welcomes snowboarding to the 1998 Olympic Winter Games. From our perspective, we'll continue to support the team and continue to be an avid supporter of snowboarding. But the games begin. Regardless how he's seen by Olympic officialdom, here in Whistler, Ross Rebliati is a hero. And when he returns, will receive a hero's welcome. Mark Schneider, CTV News, Whistler, B.C. They are celebrating this morning in Rebliati's hometown of Whistler, British Columbia. CTV's Al Sweeney is there and files this report. The Olympic nightmare was over, and the news was almost too good to be true for the late-night party crowd at the Whistler Ski Resort. This resort is where Ross Rebliati lives and trains, and his supporters say the Olympic decision shows they were right all along, that it was ridiculous to take away his medal. We will go to his hometown in Whistler, B.C., where the entire community remained firmly in his corner, and oh, what a party they're going to give him. <laughs> uh, the story certainly has engaged the entire country, and he's had support from a lot of people. You might find it surprising uh, the kind of support he got from our politicians. Now Reform leader Preston Manning says people should remember that Ross Rebliati is innocent until proven guilty. That the evidence is not conclusive, and I don't think we should uh, say we won it on the slopes, and I don't think we should give it up in the uh, politics of the of the testing. That you can get. Uh, you could register a higher rating by watching a Cheech and Chong movie. I think that uh, the crime does not suit the punishment. I'm glad to be a Canadian because they supported us all the way and every phone call I got it was very positive and people that I've never known have phoned. I think Canadians are the best. <laughs> they've just been wonderful. I've heard from people that I don't know at all and they've been so sympathetic and encouraging and it's given us strength to get us through this ordeal. So I'm really um, thankful that we're in Canada.